Uh, regarding the Lynn Henning tweet uh, that Jim Bowden reporting today that the Tigers are receiving overtures for Tarek Skubal and how, you know, Henning basically said you, you, it's got to be a ready-made all-star and a couple of other, one or two other blue-chip prospects that would make you even consider this. Uh, and I get it. Um, it. Why you'd at least listen. You don't want to give up on Skubal, but... <laughs> Here's the thing about a deal like that is that it kicks the can of expectation down the road. And it's really up to Scott Harris to figure out, all right, with what we have in the organization, are we going to be able to get to the finish line? Because if not, it probably is wise to start over no matter how freaking painful that is to hear right now. If he looks at what they have now, you can also force the issue a little bit. And forcing the issue includes getting more involved in free agency. Last offseason was a disappointment. He explained why they didn't do what they didn't do. And I suppose, you know, it would make some sense. I didn't love the free agent class, kind of like this NBA draft. Mm -hmm. And the player I like the most has been terrible. So, (laughs) Um, but with that said, if you get a scuba offer, you can't refuse. And I'm not, you know, talking about the kind of offer where, no, I'm not going to go all Godfather here. I'm just saying. Well, let's. I'll, I'll throw a one for one trade at you. All right. That that would not be offered, but it's just it's a type of thing that you'd have to consider. If Baltimore says we desperately want the pitcher, yep, we'll give you Gunnar Henderson. Well, I I I'd say, and what else? Just cause. Well, yeah. Look both ways. Yeah. But all right. that's the type of thing, right? Yep. Feedback from Al. Why is it every time the Tigers have someone that's performing well, they always trade the asset away rather than build around that? They've always done this, and this is why they're always in the bottom of the league. They mismanage their all their stars all the time. When have they done that? I, I, I'm not going to say it hasn't happened. I'm just like, let's let's go through the times that they we're talking about a young cornerstone player. Yeah. Or if they only traded veterans that they were going to lose most likely anyway. I mean, I mean they traded they away. They let Scherzer the, get the free agency. Uh huh. But that was because they kind of had a budget. Well, they made him an offer. They made him a a good offer. Max bet on himself and turned into a a much better offer in the offseason in free agency. But they made him a fair offer going into spring training or after spring training. So, what do you want to say? The the, the prospects they gave up to to get Miggy? No. What, Nick Castellanos? I wouldn't say that. I mean, there was the talk at, at the time that when when Michael Fulmer was rookie yeah, of the year, it was great. Done. That one, and and I, I was in favor of that, but that was for completely different reasons that don't necessarily apply to Scooble. Although Scooble, one of the reasons why they got him so late was because he had, I believe, two arm events it's when he was at the University of Seattle. So you don't expect him another one. What's that? So you don't expect him more. No more. No more arm events, please. Um. It's on if the resume. It, well, if his if his mechanics are good, then you don't expect it. But but that was another one. Fulmer was a guy that people said that they should, and they didn't trade him. So again, what, what's the who are, are the guys going to complain about? You know, Suarez or Paredes or Willie Adamas? Paredes. Are those the guys that rarely played here? I I don't I don't think it's accurate that they've always done this. No. But. Uh, if we trade Scooble, I want five prospects and the name and a name player or a first round pick at least. You can't trade first round picks yet, right? No, you can't yeah. trade picks. And when you start talking about give me baseball. five prospects, I don't want five prospects because that means it's like a scatter shot approach. You want like give me the three, best you got three sure things. Yes, yeah. give me your if you give me your top three prospects. Scooble has to be looking around thinking I got to get out of here. Trade him and get a haul. He hasn't acted that way. Next text, I really hope the Scooble talk is real. Mm. Tigers can't make the same trade mistake with Scooble like they did with Verlander. Well, they can't. They're, they're completely different. Yeah, Verlander was at the end of a contract that had already paid him a ton of money, and it was on a team that they kind of had to break up. Scooble has yet to get his first big contract, which is why it makes him even more appealing. He should fetch way more than Verlander did which is why I would love to hear that the Tigers have agreed to a six-year deal with Tarek Skubal. I know. Give him a six-year extension. Give him the money. There's, there's, it, it, 
to just explain the difference, an aging player at the end of a contract doesn't get what a young player under cr- club control for what three more seasons gets. Yeah, two and a half seasons. Yeah. Scooble is at it is like a rocket ship just taking off. Verlander had some good years after that, without question. But it well, wasn't he had a phenomenal year after he got traded. Yes, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't at the beginning. They'd be like trading Verlander in year three, not Verlander in year. Exactly what it was yeah. after they had him for eight nine years, whatever. It was. 